Whoa, what is going on YouTube? We come to you from our land of rich and plenty here in the high desert. Such as it is, such as we've somewhat got some stuff going on as we reported last time. But this is going to be a, I don't know how long this is going to be. We'll see. Uh, I didn't want to make it alive because I want to drop some links in and I don't know how far this is going to ramble. So it's been a while. <clears throat> um, and uh, got to show off the garden a little bit while we're up here just kind of chilling out. Um, but uh, lots going on. How many distractions are out there? How come everybody's talking about stuff in the White House that doesn't affect them? That's a mystery to me. It doesn't affect anything. It doesn't change anything. And everybody wants to talk about it. Um, anyway, so what does that really mean? Um, there's a there's a, a WEF video out there. Not a WEE, WEF. Those World Economic guys. <clears throat> of a guy talking about cryptocurrency and telling them exactly... Okay, correction. A central bank digital currency. I want to use a proper term. I don't want to offend anybody like 420 out there. Um, so the central bank digital currency and exactly what it's for and exactly what it does. And uh, he states it pretty plain, plainly. It's all about control and using social credit scores. Uh, so your, 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 your mother-in-law, your sister, your cousins, nephews, uncle, anybody that is uh, open-minded enough to maybe look at it and hear what they're actually saying instead of what they want to hear, um, show them that video. I'll put that link to the tweet at least below. I think uh, it'll still be up. Or you can probably Google it. Uh, it just happened recently. The video was recorded by some European dude. And uh, when they say who they are, believe them. <laughs> do not... Um, what is going on back there? Do not d let your lying eyes deceive you. <laughs> you know, you're going to believe me or your lying eyes. Your lying ears in this case. Um, it's just amazing how people have uh, convinced themselves that everything's going fine, just swimmingly. Um, they're more worried about the the savior that's going to come, the one guy they're going to elect in and and help and just save the day. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> things aren't looking up. Things are not looking up at all in regards to those things. Uh, the wartime front seems to be in a weird position. I haven't talked to any of you guys since the, uh, and of course the wind's gonna come through here as is tradition. And uh, the war front has changed drastically since there was a fake coup. <laughs> like, I don't even know what Putin was planning or what the agenda was, but that was hilarious that, um, people were actually thinking that Putin was going to get ousted or something. I don't know what was going on. I was, it was so bizarre, the whole thing. And then it just, hey, we're just going to stop and we're going to Belarus. What? So something totally behind the scenes is going on. And whoever thinks they know what happened, I, I posted it on Twitter. Probably only Prigozhin and Putin know what happened there because I don't think anybody else does. <laughs> so whatever the agenda was, whatever the plan was they're the only ones that know it i think and i think there was a i think it was between the two of them they were plotting something and whatever the goal was uh seems to have been achieved um that was bizarre and so uh we continue to launder money through uh ukraine which is interesting ukraine is almost fully an eu state now there was uh i guess it was a couple weeks ago EU Central Bank uh, paid off some enormous amount, billions of dollars of debt for Ukraine. Uh, basically doing what they wanted to do and undermined Ukraine's sovereignty, you know, a decade ago. Basically accomplishing what they've always wanted to accomplish. So Ukraine is fully vested in the uh, European Central Bank and is uh, basically fully in, under their control, if you ask me. Um, so there's that going on. Um, people want to blame Putin for something the EU started. It's pretty bizarre. My watermelons are starting to come around. This warm temperatures here lately have helped them out a lot. Usually they get to this size and they'll just start booming. 
kind of like the squash have been booming for a while <clears throat> but uh yeah those two situations in particular the world economic forum cbcd thing and uh, the ongoing money laundering war in ukraine um some there was a post that said that russia had lost 50 percent of its combat capacity which is just bizarre if true like how how <laughs> how's that possible if that's the case then ukraine's like down to combat ineffective over uh, completely they have to be completely combat ineffective and then there was another st stat that said that after the invasion after the first couple of weeks that russia controlled like 17 percent of ukraine like 17 point some percentage and now they controlled 17.5 something like the percentage that ukraine has taken back is like tenths of a percentage point like oh well that sounds accurate unless you believe all the propaganda comes back all these gains they're making um so i don't know which one to believe really but uh something's definitely a mat a miss the on that whole thing um and to go into stalemate just defies logic like why it's not over um so something else is afoot whether it's to make a make the whole place into a kill box undermine the world's food supply there's so many things that could be going on on top of the whole uh economic uh control of the place um they haven't talked about the food supply that much this summer um, you would think with the wheat harvest kicking in here that they would be concerned, but, uh, or saying something about it. Um, but no, I haven't heard, I haven't heard anything about the, <clears throat> cause they should have have a couple of harvests coming in. You'd think the first, uh, spring and whatnot, but nothing. So that's interesting. Um, I guess it's all just being shipped out and sent around the world as per normal, per plan. I don't know. But I doubt it. As they have been saying on several other issues, uh, food is the agenda. You'll eat crickets and you'll like it. <laughs> um, so stock up on your protein. It seems like protein might be the key more so than we've ever thought. Uh, especially more than we've been taught for decades. What is somebody yelling about over there? Yeah, well. Somebody's looking for mom or something. <laughs> um, so all that stuff is going on. What is everybody else distracted? I hope you had a good Independence Day. You know, such as it was. It was enjoyable. Good weather here. Um... It's one of those things you can't uh, focus too much on it, but still enjoy the day. So hope everybody's out there doing the things. Getting your garden garden right, getting your plant on. Got some artichokes growing over there. I saw a couple, the pumpkins are starting to come in. I got some pretty good sized ones. I think I'll put a post up later of some of the stuff growing, a separate community post. We definitely there's some guys hiding out right there you made it right down there uh where they at right there pumpkins coming in growing in the in the undergrowth <clears throat> so yeah it's just that time of day to enjoy the what's becoming cool it's definitely not cool <laughs> cool cool it's been in the 90s pretty much Oh, for the last week but it's manageable it's this time of day it gets a little breezy and cools off and it's all right a um, couple nights it wanted to stay above 70 uh, for a good portion of the night so that wasn't too comfortable but uh, most nights it gets down in the 60s and cools off enough to make everybody happy um, but yeah What's everybody else doing other than just uh, biding your time? I don't know. When you see the hear the things that that guy from the WF says, you hear that and you're like, <laughs> I mean, is it not? How is it not go time? How do we allow people like that to say things and still go and still allow our supposed 
people that are on our supposed side, as in as people in America, go along with it? How do we allow that to happen? And I started thinking about that. And it's just a matter of access. Like, we don't have access to those kinds of people. We don't know who they are. We don't know where they live. We don't know anything about them. There's so many of those people, and there's, some of them live here, and they're just uh, removed from us in society. We have no idea. And we wish you could keep it that way, but obviously they have an agenda that uh, they want to impose upon us what they want from their ivory tower, such as it is, wherever it may be. Um, and uh, we'll eat scraps or cake or whatever, crickets, like uh, literally. <laughs> um, it's just an interesting situation we're in. And, um, you know, we all, I don't know, we've talked about it before. Like the biggest thing we got to do is we have to stick together. We can't allow division within the people. Um, we need populace to stick together instead of fighting each other while those big honchos just lay plans and have people do their dirty work you know um people that are the enforcers of that stuff uh somebody needs to break the chain somehow you know somebody needs to uh put a virus in a computer or something <laughs> you know that rounding error from office space somebody needs to do something like that to them <laughs> and uh just uh make ruin their day at the same time making sure they get their orange stapler back but uh yeah i was just thinking about like why isn't anybody taking these people out like why are these people still walking around breathing like how do we allow this to happen it's just a matter of access and under knowing who they are there's just so many of them that we don't know they a lot of them are european and they live in places that uh, are uh you know we talked, we talked about this a long time ago, about the people who guard the people and uh, how much they have to get paid. You know, imagine how much these people are getting paid to protect these types. Um, and how can they not see the writing on the wall for their own uh, families and people, you know? Like, when are one of them going to step out of line? That's what you really need. You need some of those people, the protectors of those people, to step out of line, to just uh, walk away. Just do the Atlas Shrugged and... Uh, Walk off into the night, as we talked about. Uh, I don't know if anybody remembers uh, the Atlas Shrugged uh, Going Galt, the Going Galt video I did back when the the Rona first started. Um, is this the Going Galt moment? Like when are people start going to stop complying and just stop producing because uh, it's not worth it? It's uh, obviously working against them their interests. And it's just not the worth the effort, you know. Hopefully some of those types that work in those places, that'll start uh, degrading the, the enemy's capabilities, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I was thinking about that a little bit. <laughs> How do you get access to these big banker types who you don't know, you don't know where they're at, you don't uh, see them, you don't even really know their names until they pop up on a, a tweet and a short video. And you're like, oh, okay, I have no idea who that is. And they're all like 60, 70, 80 years old. And no idea who they, who they are walking around. They've all got uh, progeny of some sort. They're probably going to hand off the reins to that uh, are just as convinced they're the elite and they're better than the rest of us. And, and if they don't uh, keep us in a box and keep us under control, then we're going to get out of control. <laughs> It's probably the fear, you know, the fear of the masses keeps those people uh, acting like that. They, they fear us uh, to a large degree, I think, because they know uh, the masses can be dangerous if unified together, that's for sure. And when you plot plans like that and, you know, masses unify against you, you're definitely in trouble. So there's that. So there's some thoughts for you. Um, what we've been thinking about around here, other than our squash and pumpkin and tomato production so lots lots of green tomatoes on there but uh lots of blooms over here on this one let's see what happens and we got some peas this year i was able to enjoy some peas this evening yeah i just had some earlier i got some pea action going on and we got cabbage and cauliflower already so some production, some success are in, going on in the garden, so that's good. I always want to 
leverage off of success, right? And we'll, these pumpkins, we'll see how many pumpkins we get out of this. It might be a little chaos here, a couple months. <laughs> and hopefully the watermelon, that's always good. So hope everybody's doing good. Uh, shout out, Alicia's doing some good videos. I haven't seen her do a live chat in a bit, but uh, she was doing those again pretty regular. And I'm sure she's got travel and holidays going on and she was doing all that. And, and she made a video, good video about the green out in the desert of Utah. And it's the same here. Like I can, it's the, the landscape is green. Like how's that possible? <laughs> a bunch of, uh, we were talking, I don't know who I was talking to the other day. It must've been 4th of July uh, to cook out. I had a few people to cook out and they're like, the wildflowers and everything, everything came in late because there was so much snow on the hills and it was cooler later, you know, that uh, the wildflowers and everything all came in on the mountains late. So what well, usually would have been, you know, up in May and done by the end of May because it gets so hot, so dry, so fast, is still around. And, you know, and it's dumb, you know, we're in July. We're in the first week of July where uh, we'll talk about this. We won't, we won't talk about what usually comes around this time of year. <laughs> Hopefully it stays away. Hopefully we, we avoid smog alerts when there's no smog. Um, we'll see what California does. Speaking of California, that's another thing to keep an eye on. Talking about people you don't know who they are, but there's people you do know who they are. A little lower on the totem pole for sure, but still one of those people that uh, is a mover and shaker. Newsom leaving his home territory to stump for president, it looks like. He thinks he's going to be the man going to places like Idaho, of all places. So that guy, there's another guy that needs to be sidelined for our own good uh he's got all kinds of bad plans from carbon tax to electric vehicle mandates to all kinds of madness you know eating i think he's got a cricket and no protein no animal plan too um and that's just right here so that's there's an example of somebody in the states he seems like a small guy because he's a small guy thinker he just get, does what he's told but um so he's kind of the front man but you got to get through them to get to the big guys, I think, too. So you got to reveal the power behind the curtain at some point. So I don't know. I'll get off here now, YouTube. That's long enough. Dang on. It's almost 20 minutes of rambling and just talking about plants. So hope you all doing good. Stay frosty out there. Prep hard. Live free.